Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another video of Diana Ankudinova performing a song called Richenka. This is a request from some of my Max Tubers, and based on your past comments, this is from a show called You Are Super, where the contestants need to have three to four green buttons to go further in the competition. Some of you also mentioned that she eventually won this contest. But before we get into the video, I am once again inviting everyone to follow me on my Instagram account at max underscore two. Likewise, please don't forget to hit subscribe, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Two. Due to some negative experiences in the past, where some of my videos were blocked in selected territories uh, by YouTube, due to some copyright issues, I will be superimposing some additional effects on this original video just to be safe. Likewise, I will be pausing this video every time something comes to my mind because I do not like talking over the actual clip. So I assume this is not your first time watching this performance. And if you are here, I am also assuming that you want to listen to my honest observations and comments. On the other hand, if you do not like a lot of talking and you would want to enjoy the entire performance without any alteration, without any interruption, please feel free to head to my description box and I'll put the original video link there. Another option is you can watch the original video first before coming back to this one for my honest reaction. Okay, let's continue. Less than a minute into the song, she is already giving us mm, different textures in her voice. I specifically love the way she shifted from her chest voice to her head voice in that very apparent and distinct manner. It's almost like she's um, howling. As usual, it sounds haunting. It sounds great. Let's keep going. This is the second video I have watched of her. The first one was Wicked Game. Keeping in mind that she was just 14 years old here in this video, again, she's giving us a lot of depth in her expression. Even with that faint smile on her face, I can feel, I can feel her loneliness. So I suspect this song is a sad one. I'm just guessing since this uh, is something I do not understand. It's a language I do not understand. I have no idea what that was, but it sounded scary. 
but scary in a good way, like I want to hear more. She really has a way of playing with her voice the way I've never heard others do before. So that intrigues me. And just look at that cold stare. I just love it. I'm not sure if that was a growl or did she just uh, emphasize the R in that one word. Rrr. Nonetheless, it just gave her rendition um, another added layer of texture. Also, there is this rawness in her voice that I absolutely adore. What I like about her is her uniqueness. And I don't think I have ever heard anyone like her um, in terms of vocal style so far. Since this is my first time to listen to this song, I do not know how it should be sung. But did you guys hear that last part where she went from her mid-range to her low range? Um, I'll call it the drop. I find that drop very unusual yet very refreshing. In mainstream entertainment, people tend to prefer singers with higher voices over singers with lower voices, whether male or female. But for me, vocalists with low voices of high caliber, like Diana, are so underrated. In singing, it's not always about belting out the highest of notes. It's all about expression. Wow, I am so impressed with the angst and the intensity in her delivery. Love it, love it, love it. Listening to her without looking at her, I still can't believe that she is just 14 years old. There is a weird disconnect with the way she looks and the way she sounds. The voice coming out of her, it's like, it's like not her voice. Let's go back to the clip. Listen to that beautiful cry. Well, to me at least, it sounded like uh, an uncontrollable cry that was so wonderfully controlled vocally. I hope I'm making sense to you guys. It's like she was able to deliver that cry and yet still sound good. As usual, I am using the terms alto and contralto loosely, all right, and alternately. So to my max tubers out there, let us not get into an argument about uh, these terms, the technical correctness of the terms. So one of the reasons why I love altos or contraltos so much is uh, the unique quality and character of their voices. They have uh, that thickness and depth that a lot of sopranos do not have. Every time I listen to Diana, 
I feel like I'm swimming in the deep blue ocean, just going with the waves, allowing her to take me to uh, places I've never been. She also sounds mysterious and like the deep blue sea. I feel like there is so much more to discover about her vocally. Let's continue. Three green buttons achieved. What took you guys so long? It's about time you guys pressed your buttons. I don't know what kept them so long. Because if it was me, I would have pressed my button a minute into the song. But that's just me. Again, to those who do not like a lot of pauses in between like what I'm doing right now, please feel free to head to my description box and click on the original video link. Okay? Let's keep watching. She may not have the widest vocal range, but she is doing a lot with her voice. Again, painting with a lot of different colors, which made her voice extremely interesting. She sounds really interesting and intriguing. Whoever her vocal coach is, you are amazing. Come on. We also have to give credit to those people behind her who helped her sound this incredible. Did it show? Again, I love it every time she does that. For lack of a better term, I'll just call it the howl. Okay, the howl. Also, if you have your earphones on, you will hear her intentionally breathing into the microphone, which to me again sounds like crying. When we cry, we do like... <laughs> and I believe that is her interpretation of that. That is her way of trying to achieve the crying sound and she did it beautifully and successfully. I just love the entire production of this competition. Even with the first uh, video I watched, Wicked Game. God, it's so good. The backdrop, the props, the camera work, everything was on point. They really put on a marvelous show that goes amazingly well with the mood of the songs. It doesn't distract you from the performance but instead, it complements it really well. Suffice it to say, this looks more like a concert than a contest. Now going back to Diana, this girl is simply phenomenal. Every time she opens her mouth, she never fails to impress me. Although, I understand that she may not be everyone's cup of tea. But for someone like me who appreciates all types of voices, especially unique tones like hers, especially true contraltos like her, I have nothing but praises for her. And we have to remember, a 14-year-old girl expressing herself like this is not common. For some of you who might say, that this performance was very calculated. Calculated or not, she did everything beautifully and she sounded sincere. Having read your comments, um, 
in uh, my other video, I am starting to think that her past experiences may have also contributed to this sincerity. Since she has experienced pain, she knows what it feels like. Thus, she knows how to use this in expressing a song. It's sad, but like what they say, what doesn't break you makes you stronger. And I'd love to think that her negative experiences in life has in one way or the other built her into the successful person she is today. If you find this video enjoyable, please give it a huge thumbs up. And please do not forget to share your thoughts down below at the comment section because I'd love to hear from you. But remember to keep your comments respectful. It is okay to agree or disagree with one another as long as we do it in a respectful manner. Let us be kind to one another and spread love, not hate. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in MaxQ. Stay safe, happy and healthy everyone. Take care.